Okay. So in this screencast, what we're going to do is we're going to log in to our website area, and I'm going to show you how to find your blog. It's very very simple. If you didn't create a blog, I'll also show you how to make one. If you didn't follow the instructions that I gave you when logging in and activating your account, so just basically put your username and password in and click login. And then you will be presented with the little thing. But also, you see that we've got a series of buttons at the top of the website, and these are always here throughout when you logged in. So you can see immediately in my blog, Hydrodynamics with Coral Reef. You get dashboard, new post, etc. If we were to click here, it takes us right through into our blog. And this is your blog. Nobody else will do anything with this. Um, there'll be no other post on it, it's just yours. So it's very important that you change it the way you like it, change the images, we can change the theme, we can make it look how we like. Now, the key place to go was Dashboard, and Dashboard will take you to the behind the scenes, if you like, of the website. And you can see on the left there's a series of different of different links where you go posts, media, links, pages, comments, and theologize, which is what we use to export the site at the end to submit it through Turnitin and a paper copy. And then there's a few other buttons down at the bottom. If you click post, it takes you to the list of posts. And that Hello World is the very first post which was put in here. Okay? So we can easily change that by going into post edit and then face which what looks like a fairly complicated um, Microsoft Word editor and you can see we've got basic buttons for formatting you click a little bit in here you've got more options for what you want to do and we'll just change this to ok click update get a confirmation at the top, click view post and it takes you right through to the newly edited comment. Okay, so that's basically how you're pretty much going to develop your site. The other thing to do is the pages here and in a later tutorial I'll take you through the difference between a page and a post. Okay, so if you if you didn't create your blog at the beginning if you click my account so that, that, that one that takes you into here but if you uh, it's very difficult because if you have not made a blog it will give you a link saying create a blog because I've made one it won't let me make another one um, but if you go into your dashboard regardless you should have a, a link to get into dashboard a blog here no that's not it my site and it gives you a list of the uh, of the blogs that you created and it, there will be a link to say right well, okay make one and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pause the uh, screencast and I'll create a new test account and I'll come in and uh, have a go and show you how so here I'm logged in as my administrator user account <coughs> which is the main one that I look over and you see at the top similar to our buttons and it says here create blog you just click create blog and you're placed with a little form exactly like it before create a name for your blog and prove it a title and now uh, as before you have a yes or no would you like it to appear in search engine and publicly on the site please click yes if you click no then your site will not be available to anybody apart from myself and you and it means that your colleagues can't comment on your progress throughout the assessment. Okay, thanks for listening. And uh, next time we'll go through creating your first page or your first post. Okay.